It is not on our birthday, but on New Year's, when a new frequency starts affecting our destiny. Let's see what this year has in store for us. 2023, the numbers add up to the number 7. Number 7 is ruled by the shadow planet Kedu, the south node in moon astrology, and Neptune in western astrology. Neptune governs the collective dreams and subconscious. In the year 2023, with the dynamic between Ketu and Neptune, we can expect to experience some confusion, a feeling of a kind of fog over our thoughts and emotions. There will be times when the only way to proceed will be through our intuition and inner guidance. From the material aspect of this year, many things will turn out not to go exactly as planned. Expect the unexpected and be ready to adjust your plans as changes occur. Since Kedu is strongly connected to our past, we can expect for that which we buried, forgotten, or left behind to resurface this year. Many secrets will be revealed, many ancient mysteries uncovered, and many forgotten or denied truths brought to light. When the frequencies of the number 7 are balanced, they provide strong intuition and wisdom, deep insights, creativity, inspiration, and psychic abilities. This year will be great for those who use their Neptunian gifts for the greater good, who help people and other living beings. The frequency of 2023 is very supportive of those who invest their heart into making the world a better place, who strive to protect our Mother Earth and the harmony between all her kingdoms. To these people, financial abundance will flow. There will be many moments of sudden inspiration and boosted creativity. The number 7 will have a very strong impact on many, but especially on those who are born on the 7th, 16th, or 25th of any month, those who are born with the dominant frequency of the number 7 will experience a major shift in their lives. The same goes for all whose personal year adds up to 7. If you wish to calculate your personal vibration for 2023, just add up your day and month of birth, but instead of your original year of birth, use this year's numbers. If you were born on the 2nd of July 1983, you would calculate your personal year vibration by adding together the day and month and, instead of your birth year, you would use 2023. In this case, we get 2 plus 7 plus 2023, which brings us to 16 7. If your personal year equals 7, the effects of Neptune in your life can be expected to be very strong this year. For many, the slow progression from last year's vibrations could be felt since October, it doesn't happen instantly, on the 1st of January. The vibration of the last year's number 6 has been waning through October, November, December, and the frequency of the number 7 has been becoming more apparent through these months. All shifts occur gradually, and so does this one. The overall effect of the number 7 will be felt by all of us. If you take a piece of paper and calculate your personal year number for the year 2023, you can receive insights into a more detailed view of your personal gifts and challenges in the year ahead of us. If your personal year adds up to the number one, you can expect new horizons and new beginnings, while being supported by the strong creativity, dreams, and inspiration of Neptune. Since the number one is connected to the sun, you will be given the spark and strength to create something new and undertake a new venture. If you get a strong insight, a strong feeling that you should be doing something, go for it and do it. Listen to your intuition and let it guide you. Sometimes we could be literally forced into a new beginning, it's just how the energy of Kata works, but don't hesitate, this is a time of creative force, backed up by strong inspiration. If your personal year in 2023 is 2, your year will be strongly influenced by the energy of the moon. The moon is about relationships, family life, and friends, so this year for you will be about cooperation. Considering the fact that all of us will be strongly influenced by Ketu and Neptune, there could be some super sensitivity and deep sentimentality about love and anything that really touches you. A good piece of advice would be not to isolate yourself, even when you are feeling extremely sensitive, but to try to work together, to seek advice, to work as a team. If your personal year adds up to the number 3, then for you this will be a Neptune-Jupiter year. Jupiter will guide you into expanding your social life and your horizons, meeting new friends, and traveling. A three-year is never boring. Expand your relationships and your social circle, get out there and enjoy the things that invigorate you. 
Jupiter is the planet of children, so if you are wishing for a child, pregnancy could occur this year. It is also a good time to take on any kind of study that excites you, to enroll in a course or education. K2 and Jupiter are a very good match, so the benefits of gaining any new knowledge will be great for you. Also, any kind of charity work is a great boost as it will enrich your life and bring you lots of happiness and a sense of fulfillment. If your personal year in 2023 adds up to the number 4, you will be feeling the influence of Rahu and Neptune combined. This combination will bring a major grounding, a 4 year is the most hardworking year, but no need to worry, it will be the work you enjoy and choose to do. It could pertain to your career, maybe building or renovating your home, just about anything that really needs to be done, and you will be greatly supported to do it. On the other hand, since number 4 is a half of number 8 and since Rahu is very similar to Saturn, this year for you will feel Saturnian. With Rahu being the other half of Kedu and 2023 being a Kedu year, the unexpected is to be expected. There could be new opportunities, new openings, new relationships, and sometimes even new homes, all the things that normally we would consider to be good, but since this is your four year in Rahu, you could be feeling doubts, confusion, and worries. Whenever you get overwhelmed by those kinds of emotions, take time to really feel into it and never allow for decisions to be forced upon you. The number four will demand sacrifices, and with new opportunities, there could be some kind of loss involved, but try to see it as a way that, in order to gain something, something needs to be let go. If your personal year in 2023 adds up to the number 5, this is a year of change for you. Everything is going to happen quickly, and Mercury is to blame. There will be a lot of excitement and movement, a lot of communication, and fast opportunities, the ones you have to grasp quickly, or, they're gone. Since for all of us this is a 7 and a K to year, for a number 5 personal year, this could cause confusion and a feeling of everything going too fast. Because of that, be aware and, whenever you feel yourself spinning, do everything you can to slow and calm yourself down. Get enough rest and sleep, take your time away from everything, but most importantly, take the time and space that you need to be able to really tune in with your inner guidance. If you are in an established relationship, it is best for you to experience new things together, to do something new and exciting, to keep the spark alive. The number 5 year is great for study, but in combination with Neptune and the number 7, distractions will abound. In this KD year 2023, staying focused will be a challenge, but if we manage to keep our focus, our study and work will turn out to be very rewarding and will bring us a lot of joy. In this year of Mercury and new opportunities, the sky is the limit. If your personal year in 2023 adds up to the number 6, then you will be ruled by Venus, the planet of charisma, love, and beauty. It is very common to find a new love or to confirm a relationship that started 5 years ago into something more permanent, like getting married or moving in together. If number 6 governs your year 2023, you will feel the need to heal any wounds from your common past and to get even closer to one another. All relationships are important in the 6th year, and we tend to seek harmony in all our relationships, not just our love life. The secret of the personal number 6 is the necessity for a decision. This year, you need to decide whether to commit or end a relationship, it is about change and decision making. Since for all of us 2023 will be a Kata year, it will carry a sense of karma. If you meet someone new, it could be someone from another life, and the relationship of perhaps many lifetimes needs to come to a conclusion. The same could happen with a previous partner from this life when they reoccur, the unexpected happens, and there is some sort of closure that needs to happen. There could be unexpected revelations about your partner, your child, or even an unexpected pregnancy, and perhaps some difficult decisions to be made, but all in all, the Venus influence is a positive one, and it will bring you closer to people in your family, and even to those who haven't been in your life for a very long time. If your personal year in 2023 adds up to the number 7, with it being 7 for all of us collectively, you will feel its impact stronger than anyone. If your last year was about making a decision or settling down, this year will be about searching for a deeper meaning. You will be supported to get in touch with your spiritual, mental, and intellectual gifts, 
and these revelations will stay with you for a very long time. It could be that in this year you will love to travel to completely new destinations, which applies to your personal life as well. This will not be a year for permanent commitments, it will be too full of changes, and you will doubt, reconsider, and change your mind. In a seven year, the material, manifested side of life seems way too uncertain and unclear to be decisive about anything down to earth. This is a great year for studying the mystical, metaphysical, and spiritual, or going on a meditation retreat, anything to bring you closer to your inner voice and your connection with the source. It is not a good year to be starting a new business, since your decisions could not be right, it is better to invest your time and energy into seeking, studying, and traveling within. If your personal year in 2023 adds up to 8, the number 7 is behind you, the year when everything earthly felt uncertain and seemed to elude your grasp, and now is the time to grab the bull by its horns. Go for those material gains, for you will reap what you have sowed in the past. Most people, influenced by the year 8 vibration, will have the power to do what they wish to do, and will do it well, but be aware of the fact that this is a K to Saturn combination, and you have to include other people. If not, you could come across as selfish and self-serving, and that would turn out very badly. If you have been working for something for a long time, this is the year to reap the benefits and ground it. The year 8 is about bringing things to fruition, but also about giving back to society and living an ethical life. If power is misused, it will backfire, so be alert and honest with yourself, as not to focus only on what makes you feel good. With the words of Saint Francis Assisi, it is in giving we receive. The number 8 is a karmic number, so if any larger losses happen, know that those are karmic debts, let them go with your blessing, don't hold on to them, but rather see them as making space for something new. If your personal year in 2023 adds up to 9, this will be a culmination year for you. Invest your time into decluttering your life, not only in your physical home, but also in your mind and heart. Dedicate your time to getting rid of things that no longer serve you. It is a time of closure, a time of endings, but this doesn't mean losing your job or your partner, the number 9 is far above that. This is a Mars year, and Mars will give you enormous amounts of energy to do the things that you feel need to be done. Since the 9 year is a year of conclusions, any new ventures will not have the energy to continue far beyond the year, they will just not have the karma behind it to keep the wheels going. So it is not a good year to start a new business or a new relationship. Since Ketu and Mars have a very strong fire energy, you could get fired up about many things, but it could be difficult to focus and see it through. Especially for people who generally have a strong Mars influence, it is very beneficial to find time for themselves, but most of all, not to get into arguments when being faced with demands from your family members or colleagues. Find the time to remove yourself from all the noise, to de-stress, recenter, and find peace. The year 2023 is a humanitarian year for all of us, and it is best to focus on activities that benefit our society, our planet, and all its children. Until next time, Godspeed, and may this year bring you heaps of joy, love, and abundance.